well, I guess I can get this out of the way. Getting this started. I feel like I'm getting this started later than I need to be. But anyway, and that's enough of that. Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terra Quatuar. Welcome to Monday. Labor Day, Monday, September 2nd, 2024, day 246. Nobody gives a care about the fate I'm of sober. labor as long as they can get their instant I'm gratification. Some wish coffee today. I did get myself a, a, um, a small pack of Death Wish coffee. It's their, um, I guess this is their typical autumn seasonal, even though it's technically not autumn yet. They do um, hazelnut chocolate Death Wish coffee. It's pretty good stuff. I had it before last year. Absolutely love it. I was thinking about getting that firehouse uh, or uh, fire department coffee again. Oh, apologies, Captain. Okay. Um, but I, I, I decided that I wanted some Death Wish this time. It's a little bit cheaper than the fire department coffee. Death Wish used to be like twenty dollars. It's gone down by almost fifty percent. It's 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 kind of weird. But I don't have pro I don't really have too much of a problem with it. I think the big thing on why Death Wish has gone down in its price is that they have more competition in the um, craft coffee market. You can thank YouTubers for that one. I don't think I'll ever be making a coffee if I you know if I get bigger. I don't plan on ever making a coffee. I'd probably do tea. I did get some tea candles for Lilia so she can have her blooming tea again when she's ready. But there is one thing when it comes to coffee. I know a lot of people, you know, sweeten their coffee with like one of those sugary creamers or just sugar or something. I found a new favorite thing to sweeten my coffee with. I actually like using molasses in my coffee. Now, I tried that because I ran out of sugar a few weeks ago. And so I sweetened it with some molasses. And wow, it is some good stuff. It is really good sweetening coffee with molasses you should try it just uh if you're in the united states just go over to your local grocery store and get grandmother's molasses and just use a little bit of that in your coffee because it it has a strong t molasses has a strong taste to it but it goes really well in the bitterness of coffee it, it does really really well and uh i like it I told my father-in-law about it. He's like, oh, yeah. my," And he's like, yeah, back in the day when I was a kid, my dad would sweeten his coffee with it, too. But that's because we couldn't afford sugar. And I'm like, molasses is more expensive than sugar now. What are you talking about? <laughs> but yeah, molasses is... I'm going to have some water, too. But molasses is more expensive than sugar. But it is really good stuff. But frankly... I have zero plans of getting high fructose corn syrup for our house. I'm trying to move away from all that stuff. Use uh, use uh, more older original ingredients in our foods and drink. Whenever feasible, of course. I don't think I plan on sweetening Kool-Aid with molasses. That would actually alter the taste. Because molasses is not a very... Uh, it's very taste altering. You, you, it's almost like a it almost tastes like a a, uh, a more burnt caramel is what it kind of tastes like. Like you actually start burning your caramel is kind of what it reminds me of. I, I don't I don't have an exact fix on it, but I I like it. It'll stain like crazy, so I'd be careful with it. It's it's really it's a lot thicker than the artificial. Like Miss Butterworth's pancake syrup when it's been in the fridge, it's thicker than that. So it's some thick stuff, and it's very sticky. So uh, when you when you get it out of that jar, make sure the rim of the jar is wiped clean. Otherwise, <laughs> good luck getting the lid back off. Mm. It's a toughie. But I apologize for not being in VR today. I was going to, then I saw the time because at the time of recording is five twenty-five p.m. A little distracted. I need to stop doom scrolling on YouTube and Facebook. I still don't use TikTok because I never will. 
I prefer uh, doom scrolling on Facebook more than I do Instagram. I have an Instagram. I don't really care for it all that much. I don't do a lot on there because uh, I think mainly I just don't understand the program all that much. Or I should say app. But I have noticed when it comes to my viewing habits, I get a lot more humor on Facebook than I do X. Because on X, it's it's absolutely swamped with very, very um, irate political posts. And I'm, I'm trying to get away from that because it's... Um, being angry or upset is... is um, Mentally and then eventually physically exhausting and I don't like it and I don't like being stuck in that in that and that negative feedback loop and and that algorithm and what I appreciate is that last night uh, Elon Musk was going on it's like well that's exactly how our algorithms are if you if you're constantly viewing certain content the algorithm algorithm is going to think that's what you want and so and uh, he was retweeting Someone was like, yeah, I, I, I constantly retweet puppies and kittens and their feed is filled with puppies and kittens. So I'm like, you know, I should try doing that. I can I can alter. I can alter my al algorithm with anime tatas. Not really. Um, I should do more. Uh, there's not a whole lot of space. I do follow NASA on, on X. I do follow NASA, but I should try following a few other things like, you know, Kittens. I, I love cats. I'm not really big on dogs. I have bad history with dogs. Plus, I'm allergic, so there's an excuse. But I'm allergic to cats, too, but I love cats. Speaking of, the neighbor's cat is still getting into our house. I have tried numerous times to get this cat to stop. Like, like he sees us open our front door, and he. this is the first cat I've ever known to bolt full speed into someone else's house. Usually, like my history with cats is they bolt to get out of the house when they when it's your cat. This cat, no, no, he wants in our house badly. We can't have cats. It would be an uphill battle to convince our property management to let us sign, you know, pet lease or something like that. Because the lease strictly says no pets. I'd have to work it out with the owner of whether or not we can have a cat. And I know it's the neighbor's cat, and I'm not stealing the neighbor's cat, but it's very hard to get a hold of these neighbors. They don't like it when people knock on their door. So it's it's a little bit difficult. But this cat is very determined to get into our house. He's gotten into our house about six times again today, even with me. And I try to be very careful, but he, he ran full speed. He saw me going for that door, and he started walking toward the house. And then as soon as the door opened, it went from a trot to a boom, full speed. And he, he, he's, he's a juvenile. So he's he's a littler cat. He's not a kitten, but he's a juvenile. He's just like a snake. Just in the house he goes. And I'm allergic to cats. So every time I pick him up, there's a maximum amount I can pick this cat up. I, I have a maximum time picking this cat up. Once I've hit that peak, I, I can't pick the cat up anymore because my allergies become too much to bear. Back, Luckily, he's old enough to where the kitten dander doesn't cause me to break out in hives on my neck just from picking him up. So that's good. But there's st I, I still get the stinging eyes, the, the stuffy nose and stuff like that. I haven't gotten the wheezing yet because I haven't hit that limit, but I'd rather not hit that limit because I know there's a maximum I can take with any cat. Kittens are the worst. Their dander is just over the top. I pick a cat up or a kitten. If I pick a kitten up, like within probably about 30 seconds, my neck is bro broken out in hives and I'm wheezing. Does not take long with kittens. But I know you're coming up pretty soon. I gotta be getting out there into the kitchen. They did not have their swams or their, they did not have their shrimp yesterday. They had, um, 
they had a pizza salad. So they're going to have, they might be doing their shrimp salad tonight. A little bummed out because it wasn't until today that I did find the salad dressing that I was going to put in their pizza salad last night. But apparently it was good enough to where they didn't need it, so I got lucky. But I can't really keep it that much longer. There's still so much more I need to do. So, without further ado, I want everyone to enjoy the rest of their Labor Day. It's been nice and cloudy. I'm, I'm enjoying the fact that the temperatures are even a little bit cooler right now. In fact, let me look real quick. Should only be, I think, like 90 Fahrenheit right now. Uh, no, it's even better. It's 86, feels like 87, so we finally feel that difference. And um, I'm, I'm definitely liking that. But it shows our forecast for the week. Tomorrow is going to be the coolest it's been in a very long time. It's going to be 83 tomorrow. Just good. Could be better. And it does, let's see, the hottest day is going to be Thursday the 12th through Monday the 16th shows 95. So it, it's going to try to creep back up. Hopefully we can get it to start going back down, but it usually doesn't really start cooling down until about mid-October. But at least it's cooled down more. So this cold front, it, it's it's been a blessing. How about that? I finally don't see any days in the hundreds. It took until September. And yes, our bill is very much hurting for it. It's 280. Like, was it 280 or 286? Something like that. So it, it, it is not good. It is not good. It is going to hurt getting that paid. But anyway, I can't keep it any longer. I got to get going. Enjoy the rest of your Labor Day Monday, September 2nd, 2024. Day 246. We'll see you all. We will see you all tomorrow on Tuesday. Good night, everyone.